So today I'm wearing green. You can't really f***ing tell. I'm so mad about it, but I'm drinking also a green liquid because I gotta show some house pride, you know? I'm Slytherin. Hola. Oh, sh**. Hola. How are you guys? <laughs> I like waited for a response. Um, today's topic is going to be Harry Potter. Ow. Or on the first book, not any of the other ones, because I haven't read any of the other ones. I've just read the Philosopher's Stone. I just want to preface this by saying, as Harry Potter fans, or fan, depending on what Brad thought, we do not claim JK Rowling. Some of the stuff that she said is just like irrational and just like she's irrelevant. Hey, boo, guess what? I hate you. And it's about the art, right? Like, there are more people than just JK Rowling who focused on this art. You have to remember, like, Ivana Lynch, she is a great inspiration as well. She is an eating disorder survivor. She has this, I think it's a vegan beauty box that she does. She just supports women in a way that supports the earth as well. And then there's Emma Watson who does all sorts of things. And there's other people too. Let's just get into this. But before we do, just make sure that you subscribe. Um, stay notified with us in the bell ting. Um, Support Black Lives Matter. Email us if you have any business inquiries. Okay, so I'm gonna start actually at the beginning of my Harry Potter fan life. I th like, I could not get into Harry Potter. I so wish I started reading it when I was 11 so I could have grown up with the books, but I didn't end up doing that because I just find the first chapter so boring. Like, I literally cannot get through it. Honestly, I kind of like it. I like the I first know. few chapters. It's after that, I think there's like a couple chapters, like five or six, is when they go to Diagon Alley. That's when I start losing interest a little bit, and then I get back into it when they actually reach Hogwarts. I'm filming. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hi, Frankie. Are you gonna say hi to your fans? No, she came in to eat my clothes. Are they literally eating my clothes. Eating my clothes. What was your favorite chapter in the book? I didn't actually finish reading it for the Oh lord. Again. A fucking again. I didn't actually finish reading it for this video. Like I I finished reading it like I've read it twice before. I'm going to finish it because I want to get on to Chamber of Secrets soon. My favorite chapter is probably Christmas. Maybe or maybe the ending. But the ending is really good. Chapter 16 changed my life. It was the trapdoor sequence. And they have to travel through this trapdoor in order to find the Philosopher's Stone. And they think that Snape is trying to steal it. So what they do is they go through this like pathway of all of these curses that the teacher of cast to like keep this philosopher's stone secret and safe and the kids get through it with ease and it's so cool to watch because it's like basically every spell and every little like stupid thing that you felt was stupid in the book at that time like the chess sequence all of that ended up being valid and like kind of like put puzzle pieces together and then when you discover that it's squirrel who's um who's a uh, doing all the evil things and not Snape. And then like you find out that Voldemort is like attached to his back or his like the back of his head. Okay, I agree. That is definitely my favorite chapter. My favorite thing about the whole book though is when the Weasley twins curse snowballs to hit the back of Coral's turban, basically hitting Voldemort with snowballs all winter. Who is your favorite character? You've been new, we've been new. I love the Weasley twins. I love the Weasley. Okay, but other than that, McGonagall, like she's an icon. I will argue this point, Amelia, because, okay, and I say this with Hagrid as well. I fit Hagrid and McGonagall both in the same. I love Hagrid too, but I think, here's the thing, I find that both of them are kind of like, their egos are really big, I feel, because Hagrid had a dragon. This was like a big part of the story. <laughs> He makes it big and he realizes that he could get suspended and kicked out of Hogwarts if he keeps this dragon. So uh, Harry and Hermione go up to the rooftop where they find a professional uh, uh, dragon person. Charlie dragon Weasley's vet, friends Trinarian. took them to Romania. Ch Charlie, yeah. So they go all the way up to the top of the castle and then they get caught. But McGonagall ends up punishing them a lot. And I find it kind of unfair because Malfoy did the exact same thing by going up and trying to sneak his way in. And he didn't lose 50 points. The rest, like Neville, Harry, and Hermione all lost 50 points for Gryffindor. You don't know how much, like how much higher Slytherin had been above Griff Gryffindor. And then after the Quidditch match, you don't know how much higher Gryffindor was than Slytherin. It could have been three points. 
and then you drop 150 points from Gryffindor and 50 from Slytherin, that math adds up to Slytherin being higher. Well, anyways, regardless of that, the issue is with Hagrid, Hagrid should have like admitted to the fact that he had the dragon. And then in the end, he ends up having to go to the Forbidden Forest because it's a punishment that Hermione and Harry have and Hagrid goes with them. But the issue with that is that Hagrid then puts Harry's life in danger and he almost gets attacked by Voldemort. That whole thing could have been avoided if Hagrid had just come clean and then they wouldn't have almost That's killed Harry. That's the thing Harry. with Hagrid though. Like his thing is animals. And you'll see in the Chamber of Secrets as well that he like is definitely an animal person above a human person. And of course he loves Harry to bits, but he also loves animals so much. I don't think Brad really understands the genius that is Professor McGonagall. It really comes out no, in the- No, 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 listen. Really at the end of the series, it really comes out how amazing she is and how much fun she actually has breaking the rules. Cause like, I don't, okay, so there's, McGonagall wanted to keep Harry with her. If McGonagall had raised Harry, it would have been so much better. Anyways, so my favorite character, I think was- Fuck, I cannot stand this boot out. It's probably Neville because Neville was like really f***ing funny and he's like clumsy and he's kind of a klutz and I also like Ron and I, I like Ron. Hermione. I love like, all the Weasleys. Yeah, Ron's a legend. The, yeah, all the Weasleys are great. I like the twins too. I like Percy. There was one thing in the book that left was left completely unexplained and I assume it's a part of what like future it? books but it's when Harry Potter goes to bed and and it was right after the sorting hat and the sorting hat was like this thing that like tells you your house. So then Harry finds out that he's Gryffindor. Then he has a dream that night talking about how Slytherin isn't that bad. You should be okay with being a Slytherin. You're in the wrong group. And then he wakes up a little frightened. That was never explained throughout the entire book. So I'm assuming that comes up in future books. Should we go on to ranking the book? Oh, on a scale from one to 10, I'd give it an eight. It definitely is not my favorite Harry Potter book. It's not my favorite Harry Potter story. Okay, so I gave it a solid six. I took two points off because it was written by a trans. Okay, that's valid. Um, it kind of reminded me of like, you know how a sitcom, it'll have like one story, one episode, and then another story the next. It kind of felt like that to me. Although this kind of story had all of them connected. And like, there was a like flowing theme throughout. Like obviously the first three chapters were like a transitional chapters, but like stuff like the boa constrictor. So hold on, let's go to Brad's cast qualities of this novel right now. Okay, so first of all, I have a lot to say. Vernon and Petunia are literally Ed and Rose from 90 Day Fiance. If you don't know, it's that meme that's like, I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. Well, because they described him as having no neck and that's what kind of set Brad off. Dudley is literally the do the roar kid. Do the roar. Do the roar. I said that Hagrid is like Danny DeVito, but like seven feet taller. Snape, do you know Austin Powers? No, <gasps> but I know who you're talking about. The Dr. Evil, the guy with the pinky. Yeah. Um, and then I said that, okay, the three, the, twi the, the trio, that is like Harry, Ron, and Hermione is literally the iCarly group. Like <gasps> okay, I agree with this so hard, explain. Freddie is Hermione, literally, because they're both like really invested into something. With Hermione, it's like wizardry, and Freddie, it's like his technology and stuff. Ron is literally Sam, because he breaks the rules and he has an interesting temper. Love him though. Uh, Harry is literally Carly, just because like Carly's the main character, and like also Carly's like, she's Kind really of dumb, passionate. but like- Exactly. She, she can't do anything without Sam or Fred, but like also she's the cool one, you know? And then Neville is Robbie Shapiro from Victorious. If y'all know, you know. A legend. Anyways, so. Um, shall. Anyway, so. I feel like you're low key, Hermione. I don't know if I'm gonna say that just because she's the, the whole beginning of the book. Be. So I think that's all we have for you guys today when it comes to Harry Potter. We're gonna continue doing these because I do want to talk about certain like character deaths or relationships that Brad doesn't necessarily know about yet. So I want to discuss it. I think we might do a Harry Potter review reloaded where we just talk about everything once I've read like every single book. That would be a good idea. I was thinking the same thing actually. Yeah, I think that would make most sense. Our next book review is probably gonna be Twilight. Uh, yeah, really making Bradley Twilight, but... don't come at me. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm very nervous, but I That's think- weird. So there you go. We're gonna tie in all the little bow next uh, book review, which will probably be next month, I think. I'm excited for Brad to read Breaking Dawn. If you know, you know, but. Okay, I'm taking my lashes off. Hold on, hold on. Don't end this yet.
You need to include this. Oh, I look like a naked mole rat. Look at this side compared to this side. Bradley, look at me. <laughs> okay. Walk away giggling <laughs> It do not make sense to me How you so gangster but only pop